We're going to be looking at herbicide damage on plants and on lawn. Check this out. All right, what you have here is a cocoa plum um, shrub, and it's been taken care of. There's some work being done on the sidewalk, and the dirt was removed. And you see it's in really good condition. It's just been, you know, damaged a little bit here from the shredder uh, when it was trimmed. But it's pest-free. There's no insects on it. There's no mold. And then I want you to take a look at these shrubs over here same shrubs but I want you to look down that row see that all that dead grass from using herbicide to kill the weeds you don't have any weeds in that mulch two weeks ago this was packed with weeds down here and the management company complained so the landscapers went ahead and treated with herbicide and burned the lawn because of overexposure all the way down you can see it all the way down that line of roundup damage on the lawn but worse yet look at the damage they caused on the shrub by hitting it and having it overexposed we're right near a lake so there's winds and as you can see there is just damage on the inside of the shrub where it's dying see it over here and that's because it got hit with the herbicide. And we have damage all over now. You can see it down there from them going crazy with the herbicide. And then the client will call me several months later and ask me why the bushes are dying. And it's because they've been hit with herbicide and now are gonna die in those areas. And it's gonna take a year or so before these bushes recover and this is the danger of somebody who doesn't know how to apply herbicide professionally just going crazy look on the inside there's the dead grass from overexposure and you can see it all the way down we're gonna go over this shrub see there isn't a single weed in that mulch that's naturally impossible it was just treated and then all of this was, you can see there's damage here from overexposure. <laughs> We're walking down here. And there it is. It's just been, the, you know, the hose might have slipped or whatever. And there's just herbicide damage. You can see all of that edging all the way down there. So now you'll have to start having dead grass and wondering why you have patches of dead grass. Hey, we hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Hey, this is Frank the Pest Geek, wishing you a pest-free day.